Hey everyone, this is Kyle Burbank from Dire News and Money at 30. And today I'm just gonna give you a very brief run through of Caliber and how to use it to convert your Word documents into EPUB files. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is select your file from your computer. So you can see I have my document right here and that will load it into my bookshelf. From there, you can actually select multiple files if you want to. So if you uh, hold down shift and then click whichever uh, ones you want but I'm actually going to just be using this top file to convert. So if you click convert books here on your on your top options, and then the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is edit your metadata. So my title, I'm just gonna put publishing an ebook for now, and I'm gonna add my last name. And you'll see that it automatically has it sort by your last name, but you can actually override that. You can type in whatever you want. So I'm just gonna have it sort by my first name, publisher, put Kyle Burbank, why not? And then you can put various tags and you can put whether it's part of a series or anything like that. You can also change your cover art, which is another important element. So for now, since this isn't actually a real book, I'm just going to put a picture of a Kindle. And then as you can see, there are several other options here in Calibre uh, that will affect how your ebook displays and other options. So. For now, I'm actually just going to highlight one uh, option that I find extremely helpful, and that is the table of contents generator. So basically, I've put in H2s throughout my article, which I will tell, tell Caliber that I want to make into chapter headings. So if you've used H1s or other uh, ways of denoting your chapters, you can select that, but I'm gonna select H2, and then you'll see there's actually directions right here for the rest of it. So for attribute, I'm just gonna put class. And for value, I'm going to put chapter. Click OK. So you'll see here that my input is a docx word file. And then my output, you can select any one of these files, but EPUB is going to probably be your best bet, especially now that Amazon allows you to upload EPUBs directly. So I'm gonna select that and click OK. And you'll see this nice arrow telling me that my book is converting. And if you've selected multiple files, it will count those down. So now that it's done, you'll see that I have two links here, one for docx and one for EPUB. If you've selected other documents, like if you had a Mobi as well, that would show next to that. But I'm actually just gonna pre preview my EPUB. And you can see my, my fake cover right there. And I can scroll through and look at the article which is now a book, I guess. So this is where the table of contents comes in handy. So if you click this, you'll see that it has a pull down. So that's my H1 title. And then these are all my H2. So I didn't bother to put any page breaks, so it doesn't quite look like a book would where it takes you to the top of the page. But you can see that anytime I click one of these, it will take you to the next section where my H2 was. So it's very helpful in that way. So if I close that, I can also click where it says path, and this will show me where my EPUB is located on my computer. Since I'm using a Mac, if I open the EPUB, it will actually load in iBooks. And as I scroll through, you can see that my article, which is a Word document, is now an eBook. So that's pretty much all there is to it to use Caliber to convert your Word document into an EPUB. So I hope this was helpful and thanks for joining.